Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I want to wish you a happy new year, happy and blessed new year. What we did different this year was each member of our church shared. So for every day this week, we're going to have a short message, and I hope it blesses you. God bless you. As you hear, Matt. Okay, so right here is where the Holy Spirit was leading me all this week for 2022 this is your guys's word the word is pouring in it's going to be a pouring into your lives this year and he's going to use us in a way we cannot imagine the ones in christ and i know it's true luke 10 34 this word in the and it is not important to know any translations i believe or concordances uh, or concordance or a translation but it is very peculiar that 2022 or 2022 is only used one time in the whole Bible in Luke 10 34 and the Lord led me this morning I'm gonna read this Luke 30 10 30 10 33 and 34 so this is saying in 33 but a certain man a Samaritan as he journeyed came where he was and when he and when he saw him, he had compassion upon him. And if we remember the Samaritans and the Jews in, in the day, they didn't they didn't get along, but they're still one in Christ. They didn't understand it yet. In 34 it goes, And when he went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. So there's Jesus telling an account somebody that helped in a Samaritan man that they were not on sides but gave him total total uh, and willing love to somebody that may be an enemy to someone else of your kind and that you're supposed to love your enemy he even put him up on his own beast gave him his wine and the pouring in the word in Greek is called epikale epikale like an epidemic like an epicenter like the epi pen that is used to revive someone epi the focal point the center god is about to pour upon every one of you that are believers that have first made a confession with our tongues that we believe in him and then we went into the salvation of believing that what we said was true 2022 is your year guys because the pouring in you're going to do something that the lord cannot the, that you cannot fathom and only the Lord can build and construct and master a little puzzle piece that he has given and you're going to see a whole picture now because Amen. that is the word Amen. 2022 that is my word Amen Amen I wasn't trying to set you up Matt I was just excited <laughs> well that's it and I implore everybody brothers and sisters to Luke 10 the, labor, the he starts it off and okay. if you can look at it it's the there is no laborers right now, guys. He's speaking to us. Right. The harvest is ready. Your loved ones are ready. We're ready. I don't want to cry. I don't want to get emotional, but we need to start accepting this pouring in. we got to accept the pouring in. We're God's people. We're God's church of love. We really are. I'm, I know I'm not in here in church, and I'm nobody, but the Lord's showing me stuff, and you guys are special. Peter, you got a name that's a rock. You got Pat in here with her two cents that's spreading a little bit of wealth to the whole world. You got, Lin, you got Lynette. You got the strongest, boldest Christians I've ever met, ever met online, spread out or across America. I know we can spider web this in and receive this pouring in of this Holy Spirit all yeah. in 2022. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Matt. How you doing, Jeanette? Oh, wow. Uh, that was Matt? Yeah, that was Matt. Every one of us is taking turns bringing a short five-minute word. Yes. Well, I just wanted to interject what he said since he said it, Matt. Uh, what the Lord gave me was 2022 is the year of revival. 